Okay, so I thought I'd just take a few minutes out from the build I'm doing at the moment, which is a German half track, and just talk a bit about um, cleaning your airbrush. And there's plenty of videos out there about how to go about doing it, the process if you like, but I just wanted to talk a bit about some of the cleaning materials that I've used. Uh, this is by no means comprehensive, but just to give you some idea of what I'm using, it seems to be working for me. Um, so talking about some of the airbrush cleaners you can get out there, and this is the ones that are made for the modeling community. There's also obviously a ton of them that are made uh, for airbrush artists as well but this is my general purpose airbrush cleaner that I've used and found to be pretty good which is from Vallejo it says product code 71199 so this is what I use between color changes for acrylics doesn't work quite so well while cleaning out lacquers but it will have a go um, the reason I like this one though is because it actually says on the instructions on the side here that you can dilute this 50% with water so I use some distilled water with it so when you're looking to buy this and you're looking at the cost per milliliter, it's actually a lot more affordable than you think because you can dilute it by 50%. And if you work with acrylic paints, um, this is a great day-to-day -day airbrush cleaner. It's fairly mild, but it still gets the job done. Of course, there are going to be occasions when you're going to be using lacquers or something like that. You need something a bit stronger. So I've been trying some other um, airbrush cleaners. This is Tamiya's airbrush cleaner, which is pretty reasonably priced in Australia stinks it's really smelly but it uh, it does do a good job and it will clean out uh, i'd say 95 percent of any sort of paints that you put in the lacquer or enamel or um or acrylic so it covers all the bases there so if i need something a little bit more heavy duty that's been my choice up till now just recently though i've been trying out this one which is mr tool cleaner and this seems to me to be a slightly stronger version of the tamiya one um, it's equally smelly, but from my supplier here in Australia, this one's a little bit cheaper. So I'm actually probably going to get this when I can. And if I can't get it, I'll just stick with the Tamiya from my local hobby shop. But that's kind of two that are roughly similar in capability. Uh, this will do enamel, acrylic, and lacquer as well. And um, yeah, so they're my sort of go-tos if I'm doing lacquer paints or I'm doing... Uh, I just want to give the airbrush a little bit more of a clean out than perhaps what the Vallejo is going to do for me. Another one I've tried is the Ultimate Airbrush Cleaner, and it's okay. It works okay with um, acrylics, not so crash hot with um, enamels and lacquers. So I'd put it roughly about the same same sort of level as the Vallejo one. Um, but it, it does seem fairly mild, and I don't know, it's just a quirk probably on my part, but I've found that I like to use this as the final cleaner of my airbrushes. So typically, when my airbrushes are not being used, I'll leave a little bit of airbrush cleaner in the bottom of the cup there. Just uh, really makes a huge difference with how often you're going to take apart the airbrush. And so I use the Ultimate Airbrush Cleaner for that because it seems fairly mild doesn't seem to affect the seals on the airbrush so uh, and it's a slight, slightly tinted so it's easy to see that I've got it in the cup when I um, go and grab an airbrush um, probably don't need to do that to be honest I could probably just use the Vallejo one but that's just something I do I found it works for me so I'll stick with it even though again in Australia this is ridiculously expensive probably different if you live in the UK where it's sourced from now for the times when I really want to give my airbrush a thorough clean and I also want to um, perhaps clean the body of the airbrush my go-to choice is Alclad 2 airbrush cleaner which is um, ALC 307 um, this stuff really stinks it's pure it, it smells like you know the full-on commercial grade airbrush cleaner that you know you might use in the car industry or something like that but it works the best of any of these products as far as cleaning so if I'm trying to clean out the airbrush after, for example, using metal paints and I want to make sure that I've thoroughly cleaned it out, all the flakes or the fine pigments out, this would be my choice. If I want to clean out the airbrush similarly after using some kind of a lacquer, like a lacquer varnish or something, again, this would be my choice. Or if I just want to put a bit on a paper towel and just clean up the body of the airbrush, you know, you occasionally get spills down the side of the cup that you forget about or you miss and you notice it a bit later, this one's got a bit of varnish on the side. Um, so what I'll do in those circumstances is I'll use the Alclad 2 as a cleaner. I also use it on the needles occasionally when I make sure they're thoroughly clean. So I don't use a lot of it, and the reason I don't use a lot is because, for one thing, it smells an awful lot, and it's not very pleasant to smell. 
but second of all because it's quite expensive here in Australia so it's more expensive per milliliter than any of the other products that I've shown you but it does work extremely well now I'm pretty sure if you went to an airbrush um, or a paint supply for automotive you could probably find something equivalent to this a lot cheaper but because I don't use a lot of it this bottle's been going for two years now and I've still got about uh, probably about a third of it to go um, it's just sort of my clean up um, when I need it. Uh, it it works pretty well well it works very well actually and um, you know as a sort of a final step for cleaning those hard to clean sort of uh, spots and airbrushes and stuff I also used it to get an airbrush that was about 20 years old working that it was clogged up with paint and this thing shifted the paint none of the others actually did that so that's what I use it's as I said probably more convoluted and comp like complicated than it needs to be but for the majority of time I'm just using the Vallejo it's a good general purpose airbrush uh, cleaner and at least here in Australia it's good value so I use that the Tamiya is also excellent value although I believe it's hard to get in some parts of the world um, its downside though is it's well it's roughly about the same price as that is it's it is quite smelly and I think it's probably a little bit more toxic so that's the downside Mr. Tool Cleaner R is basically the same as the Tamiya as far as how they work so I would go between either brand depending on the price I think perhaps this is marginally stronger and then of course I use the uh, Alclad 2 Lacquer airbrush cleaner when I want to rig it a thorough clean and for just um, putting something on my airbrush when I'm not using them I use a little bit of Ultimate airbrush cleaner now I don't know if that's the best way to do things or the worst but that's what I've found has worked for me so I would suggest though you at least have a couple of different types of um, grades of cleaner if you like for your airbrush one that's stronger one that's milder um, that's a really probably a good idea just to have a bit of a mix because you don't need to use a strong one all the time I've discovered you can get away with using the mild one for the majority of the time and if you don't at the moment leave your airbrushes soaking with a bit of thinners in the bottom just a mild mild airbrush cleaner I should say like the Blaho one or the ultimate one strongly recommend you get into that habit because it reduces the amount of times that you've got to pull these apart I can't tell you how many times but it, it means I can go for you know weeks without having to worry about this airbrush whereas before um, you know if I was doing a lot of spraying I might have to strip it down after a couple of weeks of work so really uh, a great tip is to leave a little bit of air um, airbrush cleaner in the bottom there but not a heavy duty one like these just a milder one like these two here would be my choice for that hope you found the video useful and we'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching